Okay, everybody. Just going to show you this. This is a USB charger that charged up the product last night. Claims it has 1500 milliamps in it. It was right at 1500 milliamps, maybe a bit over, but my charge cord has a little light on the end, so I knew it didn't blow out the whole night. Plus, this thing probably uses a little. Um, took about five hours to charge, and it charged at a half an amp the whole time, so this claims. Uh, it could be wrong, but it's pretty close to what the manufacturer says. So now I'm going to test it out a little bit, show you guys what all this thing can do. Um, I did have it going last night, and it said it was an... I was trying to drain it totally down. Drained it totally down, it automatically just powers off. It says um, one hour left, and it lasts like five hours. Turned down all the way, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a couple of videos on this if people get interested. Um, I did annoy my girlfriend highly with it last night, yelling into the microphone and everything. I'm going to make a cons video on it. I did find a lot of cons on it last night, but more positive. A lot more positive. Um, the SD card, I'm not really going to show you much of that. You just put in a normal SD card. But I am going to show you the USB, which basically is the same thing. It's just a bigger stick. I don't want to keep having to put the SD card in there to show you. Um, you cannot use the mic with the auxiliary at the same time. So basically I'm saying you cannot use this as a... Um, karaoke machine which would mean you're putting in your own music using your microphone each thing is on at one time not all of them okay i'm going to start off with local radio i gotta keep it a little bit low or find a station that does not have music playing trying to keep the copyrights down trying to make a penny or two turn it on it says hi sp batteries fully charged tells you everything you need to know the mode button i found out Goes through the different modes. I'm going to keep it low until I find one where they're talking. You just hit this one at a time, which I did find very annoying. You hit one at a time. The antenna, I will pull it out once I find one that's not playing music. Um, if you hold on it, kind of like a scan, watch, it will go through presets. I don't really like that. I'd rather it scan than have presets, but um, take what I can get. I'm pushing the up button, the but the down button does the total opposite. If I do find a station, and sorrowful. I can pause it with oh, the pause button right the word Perfect, no music there. I can pause it, comes up and says pause. For me, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sorry if you guys aren't very amen. religious, but hey, I don't have to fight with the copyright on that. What happened? Oh, there we go. A prayer from St. Augustine for when we don't know how to pray. Am I turn up Father, all the way? Most likely get seeking. yelled at. I am hesitant and uncertain, but will you, oh God, watch over each step of mine and guide me? When it's turned down all the way, it's still pretty loud. It's not pretty loud, but you can still hear it. Let's turn down all the way. Right, I'm going to put that down. Um, my nearest stations are at least 15 miles away. I'm inside of a house. Winter time. I have a big barn around my house um, for stations. I look through them all, and um, it looks like it'll pick up about 30 miles indoor. Um, if it had a weather band, it would almost be a weather radio to me. It's pretty cool. Um, of heaven and earth. Let's and see if we can get lucky and find another station like that. You know, I'll let it play music for a second, but if it has copyright, I'm going to have to mute it out. There we go. I don't even have the antenna up right now. I think if I talk over it, it won't have a copyright issue. So, um, if you're listening, or if I don't quit talking. Um, yeah, I have the antenna down right now. It's picking up a country station. Uh, that one I don't really know, so... And I'm not next to Chicago or anything, so it's amazing that I get anything. What was that? Um, it does not do AM, as far as I know. Now nah, I could have got that one if I put the antenna out. Hold on. So close. Close. There 
There we go. And that one is over 30 miles away. I have the antenna down. Um, yeah, I only have one rock station around me. It's not that one. So I'm going to hit the... Okay, let's go back to that. I didn't really see what this button does right here. It's our repeat. Doesn't do anything on FM. I'm going to flip off there real quick. SP, don't quite know what that means. Um, again, that's my charger. I did test it yesterday. It stands up by itself great when it's not on carpet. Um, the intercom, it's almost impossible for me to show you guys on here how loud it is. But it's very loud. you got to keep this down at your side of your shoulder. Or side of your shoulder. Side of your waist. If you get too close, it starts maxing out the mic. But uh, I'll show you what I thought was really cool. Now, I didn't put music on it. I did yesterday to kill the battery. But I just got this little um, and very old SD card. Or one of these. And you stick it in there. And it will play off this. Now, I'm, this does the same thing as the SD card on the side. But I'm going to show you this. You plug it in. It's pretty cool. It will automatically know that's in there. And it will say loading. L-O-D. I think that's a version of saying loading. Loading. I'm going to turn it up real quick. Okay, I'm going to mute it. I don't know why I started with that one. I put a bunch of random crap I pulled off of YouTube. Um, I did find a problem with this, though. They, they could do an update or something and fix it. But here, I'll let it play. Now, there we go. Okay, I noticed this. It says one hour when I turned it on. I thought that one hour meant that it only had an hour battery left. Now, watch this. High load didn't do it that time. High load. Okay, every now and then it says low battery. Okay, see it starts playing track one right away. Um, I have it turned down right now. I'll get to the bits later. You can go up and down with these, and you can also pause it and repeat. Um, let's go up. There's number nine on the track, eight, seven, six, five. Now these are just the numbers straight down. I, I just have MP3 files on it. So my number one MP4 file, which it should have loaded that. Okay, yeah, it is. I guess I put the the uh, foreign language guy on there. Knew wouldn't have any issues with that. Okay, you can pause it wherever you want. Paused it. Uh, I'm gonna push the repeat button. It comes up two different ways. Repeat all or repeat just this one, I would assume, and then off. And it doesn't show you anything when it's shut off. My camera would focus. That says USB in the corner. Now, if I have that plugged in and I plug in my microphone, it still keeps playing from this or switches. Um, the problem I have with this is, say you're yelling at people. Say, say an auctioneer. I think this is really good for auctioneers. If an auctioneer is talking to somebody or a presentationer is talking to somebody and they have it preloaded on this or the SD card, a ad or something that they normally say all the time and they need it to um, play. Okay, say it's number four. We're on number one right now. I'm going to get to number four. As I'm going to number four, it plays every one that I skip to. So you gotta like turn this down and you know you already have it to the volume you want. But when I go, I'm on number one now. When I say, let's go to number eight, it's further away. Before I get to number eight, it will play the sounds of the ones in between, and you shouldn't have to deal with that. You should get to the one you want and then press play, and I can't find a way around that. Here, I'm on number one. I'm going to hit, I guess you could hit it really quick, but uh, you know when you're in front of a crowd and all that, you get a little bit nervous. If Stop it. Get some help. Okay, that it was very short, but that was my number eight. Um, notice it played two or three of them before I got there. Um, that's not very convenient because uh, a lot of people have sponsors on their stick or whatever, and they'll get to it, push play, walk around, get their papers ready, and by the time it's done, they can come back to it. And when it's done, it automatically plays the next one. Um, there needs to be a lot more customization for that because that's the only reason I see using the SD card in this is for advertisement or speeches that you've already said and you can hit a button get a glass of water while it's talking and they think you're really talking to them um that's the problem i see with that that's really the only problem i see um i did run into i'm gonna pull actually i'm gonna play through a little bit of these they're really loud um based on your volume that you set it on it's very crystal clear i'm very happy with how clear it is 
I have random crap on here. Don't judge. It went the wrong way. A few moments later. Boring! No, that's a lot of damage! Stop it. Get some help. Okay, I put on repeat B, and it did not repeat. There, repeat B. We're gonna find another track. There, repeat A, see if it repeats. Now that looks like a repeat button to me. Okay, so it doesn't repeat that at all. Oh, so uh, I don't really know what that button does. It doesn't quite work with the user, which to me, that's what I would have used it for. I think I'm done showing you guys this. Oh, I'm going to leave that in and show you the microphone setup. I'm going to have it turned way down so I don't peek anybody's ears out. Um, and then I'm going to show you the auxiliary port. And then if you guys are interested, I could show you um, how loud it is out in the country, if I can yell at people from across the gas station, so on and so forth. Um... Really, the only uses I can see I can get out of it. But um, the FM radio, to me, I can definitely use, especially when I go to car um, drive-ins where my car shuts off. Okay, I went and got this, which is very self-explanatory. Just going to show you it plugs right in, no problem, but there's no reason for me to play sound through it. It sounds great. Um, you guys can't really see or hear how loud it goes. Um, I put it up against my Bose. I got a Bose Mini, first generation, and uh, you plug that into auxiliary, notice it already knew what I was doing, and it quit playing off of this. So basically it goes to whatever the newest thing is. I'm going to unplug that. Um, yeah, obviously it don't sound better than a Bose, but it did go louder than my Bose. Um, it was clear at its high pitch, but I'm assuming if I was playing music on it and I was in like a really loud... Um, area like a go-kart race scene or somewhere where it's really loud if i was using this for music through the auxiliary um don't know how long it would last i could do testing if people ask me to but um yeah i seen the need for this um i use my bows and sometimes it's not loud enough um they kind of go over sound quality over sound quantity and this would be a lot louder if i was in something in a loud area Okay, I'm going to unplug that. That's pretty self-explanatory. Put your CD player in it, whatever you want. Now this, who knows what it's going to do when I plug it in. It's going to pick up my voice. It's going to scream. This is the headset it came with. I do like it. Um, I wish it was a little bit longer, the boom, to go around to my mouth. Um, I ended up using the uh, Mayono's other products. I got a few microphones from them that I use for gaming. And um, I plugged them into it. And they were not... I figured they would work really good because they work really good for gaming, but they do not work good with this. Um, if you see my other reviews, it was the mic I just reviewed about a week or two ago. And, uh, sorry, my washer decided to go right now. If you guys watch my videos, normally it's the vacuum cleaner that's right there that decides to mess with me. Um, no, but, um, I plugged it in and it, had, like, the mics that they use professionally on TV and all that, that you see pinned to their shirt... It was not close enough to amplify your voice. It did pick it up, but it, it was quieter than your voice. It's some. This needs to have something close to your mouth. So you're going to have to get a microphone for a amplifier. I'm going to plug that in. Who knows what it's going to do? Don't pitch. High pitch. Okay. I'm going to move this way over here. Ah, there it goes. Um, also, this mic is um, very touchy. Um, I don't know if a lot of you... I'm turning that down. It's going to scare the crap out of me. I don't know if a lot of you have remember back in the day where your headset, you would touch it. You hear it popping. That is a huge con to me. Um, it's nothing to do with this device. 
it is their cheap headset they give you because I tried another headset on it and it did not do it at all. But my other headset was also a three ring and this is only a two ring. Three ring goes in a little bit further, but it is annoying. Um, once I had it settled on my hip, it worked fine. I'm gonna put it way over there. I'm gonna turn it way up. Hello, hello. Hello. I don't know if you guys can really hear that. I'm gonna get yelled at. <laughs> I've been using it to yell at my girlfriend a little bit. Love it, it's very fun. Um, it's plenty loud enough. I'm sure you could hear it easy half a mile away to three quarter miles. I, w I wouldn't say a mile. Um, it is limited to just the size. It's very light, very nice. Um, actually, um, I'm not gonna weigh it. It's super light, that's for sure. Um, I do have a tape measure. I don't know if they give you the specs. Here we go. I don't know if they give you the specs online. I would say four inches, a little over four if you're four and a quarter if you're taking to there. Um, let's extend the. If you extend that out all the way, you're talking ten. Easy ten, perfect ten. Turn it sideways. Uh, you're about three and a sixteenth, three and an eighth. Um, that little hanging off the sides for me because I was charging it. Again, I got 1,500 milliamps out of it, which is great. Should last. Everything they've said is working and came just like they said. Other than the box was just unappealing for what you bought. Yeah, it's a very appealing box, but you can't even... It doesn't even have the brand's name on it. It's, I, I, I don't know about that. But, uh, yeah, um, hopefully whoever buys this has a little bit better connection with this um i've had nothing wrong nothing ever go wrong with their products um also i said in the first video of the unboxing if anybody watched that this don't have bluetooth in it which is fine because you can buy a bluetooth to headphone adapter and plug it right in no problem but the thing with bluetooth i don't know if anybody's bought a car radio that had bluetooth in it and just went too cheap you have to watch out everything with the bluetooth because bluetooth will hum bluetooth will tick Bluetooth will make these weird sounds when it's transmitting to where, if you notice, gamers don't really use Bluetooth for headsets because there's too much feedback, there's too much static noise, and most cars, you gotta almost pay up to 100 bucks to get a good one, or you just keep exchanging them in until you get one that had the right aluminum coating on the wires and everything that work. Um, this is like more of an entry model one if you want a Bluetooth one where you don't have this wire. Um, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. This is more for the entry model person. Um, I'm hearing teachers are using these. If my teacher was using this, uh, that would have meant I was a really bad child and she was yelling at me to go stand in the corner. Um, oh, and another con, just this con. Um, I will make a con in good video later on. Depends on how many people watch this. Um, definitely a lot more pro pros than cons, but this, it wiggles. Yeah, that sounds so petty. But, see if you guys can see it. It wiggles. Oh yeah, you can see that. It wiggles. Now if that broke, what the heck. Like, it, it, I don't think it twists off. I don't think it clips out like, um, like, um, two-way radios. So you can change the batteries. Um, most likely I'd be using the harness, um, that was included. It's in the box over here. Very nice harness. Very nice harness. I'm going to do a video on that. I have a few more videos coming on this. I'm really, I'm really happy to have this product. Um, yeah, that clips right in there. This clips in there. It can be worn as a purse almost. It can be anything with a strap. And since them are really durable hooks, you can even hook it on the wall. Um, it's amazing what all this thing can do. But uh, this latch on the back is definitely a problem. It's super thin. I don't think they're relying on you to use that. But I clipped it on my pocket, my lower right pocket, where you'd uh, put your hands to keep warm in pants. And uh, instead of my belt loop, I put it right there. And that was nice. You got to remember it's there when you sit down. But uh, yeah, that's my overview on the uses it has. Um, I'm going to do a few more videos on it. See how long the battery lasts just playing basically the same song over and over because then that's a good variety. Basically on quiet. I don't know if I could do a video on it full loud. This is 
This is amazingly loud, uh, very clear. Even when you're screaming into it, people can hear you. This is great clear clarity out of this speaker, definitely for the price. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And the link to this will be below. Thanks for watching.